TSK or uh, at his garage in Corinth, Texas. Chris is actually an accomplished uh, designer. She collects a, a period of style of car, like which is like I would say like from 57 to like 1964 or something, yeah, yeah. which is like the ideal era of hot running as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's the most horsepower, styling, uh, that's when people, when hot rodding was really coming of age. My oldest brother, his very first car, now this is, this would have been in the early 60s, was a, a 62 fuel injected bed. And then he actually, he, he sold it, he traded it with some cash, and that's when he got the 30 mile leg, and it had a 283 in it. And, and, and that's when the bug hit, because I rode out there with them in the vet, and we did the trade, and I, I didn't know, I was just going along for the ride. And then, you know, the old, the, there's a rumble seat, and I rode 30 miles back home in the rumble seat in, in this hot rod, you know, and I thought, this is the coolest thing, and then, right. you know, it, that's it. So, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the cockroach? It's got a 31 Ford Roadster body, and it's on a, a 32 Ford chassis. Yeah. And it's been modified, so the, the frame's all chrome. That's got a Buick uh, 425 nail head in it. Now, when it was originally built, I understand that it had the the small nail head, the 322. Yeah, and it, it actually had a four-speed in it one time. Y and drag star, manifold, six deuces. Um, it's got a set of chrome 97s on it. It's got a set of uh, hand fabricated like these sidewinder headers. On that, they're all chrome plated, and then there's some cutouts too. And there's actually a full length exhaust. It's got a dropped I beam axle. Uh, looks like you know just reversed I transverse forged springs. Yeah. It's got F100 brakes and a 55 Chevy positive tracker and drive shafts all chrome. And not only does it have a chrome frame, but the whole floor is chrome plated on it. Um, all the hairpins are hand fabricated, chrome plated. I guess. The interior actually is all from the 60s as well. It's all black diamond top. The dash came out of a 32 pickup. And it's got a, uh, a Hollywood accessory panel, a chrome steering column. The car actually has some drag racing history because down on the uh, corners of the seat, there's some receivers where there's a roll bar receiver there. So, so the car is, looks like it's channeled about seven inches. Um, deuce grill shell, looks like it's been section, it's three and a half inches. Specs, it's got like 78 coats of lacquer on it. Oh, the firewall's chrome, and then uh, steering box is chrome. I think the, one of the signature items on this car are these uh, nerf bars. Everybody I've asked have no clue what those taillights are from. They, at first, they're, you know, they're kind of weird looking, but they're kind of cool because no one knows what they are. <laughs> It's got the Astro wheels that were from the day. In fact, even in the old pictures when they were mopping up the chassis, it had these wheels on it. Right. And then these tires, uh, when I first got the car, they, were, they had just all uh, black holes on it. Uh -huh. And you know, that was period, but I, I'm, as you can tell, I'm a white wall guy, and I just like white walls, but being a, such a, a strong 60s show rod, I thought the thin white walls would be better. I put a pair of uh, the Firestone 560 15s in the front, you know, the narrow one in. So the car was originally built by Jim Cooper in Illinois. So, um, and he was, it sounded like he, he was a very avid, uh, very prolific builder. If you look at the construction of this car, you know, using the technology and the tools back then, it is phenomenal. Yeah, the first thing that I noticed right off was, you know, it's that period that I love, like the early, the early to mid 60s, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, I saw it from across the parking lot. I didn't even know it was your car. I was over there drooling on it, and uh, you know, I saw the nail head and the headers and like the the paint job, and that's you know, that's that air, you know, that yeah. that I'm really into. You know, I mean, that's when hot rodding and custom was like one. You know, this is before the muscle car craze or any of that stuff. You know, so and then you came up to me later, and we started talking about pinstriping. And I was like, that, I, I didn't know that was your car. <laughs> Where'd you get that car? I like the same kind of cars. I mean, I just, I love that, that whole 60s vibe. And, you know, I first saw that car, it, it, I think it came out of the garage in 06 or 07. I saw it on the internet and I just, I just went crazy over it. Jim Cooper originally named it the Cockroach. And, um, Part of it's the color. I mean, the way it's 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 candy copper. It's like a dark amber copper, and it's got some fogged-in highlights. So you know, 
It has a similar color, and I think because the car is so channeled and low, yeah. and I think it's just because it has that silhouette. I bought it from a broker here in Dallas. When I got the car, it had been, uh, you know, uh, restored to a point where it was you know, drivable. With all this chrome stuff, it, the rear end and all the rear suspension was painted, and I thought, well, that was kind of odd, you know, with the all chromed out. So uh, Nick Giaclone. And his dad was the one that, uh, they got the, the car from the family, the Cooper family. Mm -hmm. And they were the ones that got it run. Well, we, we got to a point where we could, you know, we, we talked regularly on the phone. And, and I was talking to him one day and I said, you know, it's so weird that this car, all chromed out, but it has a painted rear end. And he said, no, it had a chrome rear end. It, it had a fully chrome rear end, chrome third member even. And I said, you're kidding me. How do you know that? He goes, well, I got all the pictures. So, he sent me the pictures. We were talking about the, you know, the drag racing history, and he said, "Yeah, they probably, you know, once the rear end sometime, they threw another rear end, just painted it." And then, you know, I, I made a comment that, yeah, I noticed that there's a receivers for the roll bar. In the course of conversation, he goes, "Oh, do you want the roll bar?" So he's got the roll bar. <laughs> so I said, "Well, yeah, you know." So I, I'm still waiting for that, but he's got the roll bar. I'd be calling him every day. Yeah, I'll start calling him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I'm looking for Chris's uh, row bar. <laughs> Don't worry about who this is. Now, when I first got the car, all the cars weren't chrome plated. And, um, I mean, there's so, so much bright work, you really didn't notice it. But then when I, you know, as I owned the car for you know, a while, I started inspecting it. Um, you know, I thought, well, I need to complete this thing. Well, uh, the irony is, on my 32, it had a pair of chrome 97s on it. So when I find them, I mean, you can actually find them once in a while, but through the over the years, every time I see them, I buy them. If right. I saw one on the internet, I would buy them. And so, when I got this car, it's like, shit, I had like three Chrome 97s, so I stuck them on there. So I got a complete set now. Oh, cool. And so that was cool. And then I, I had the rear end all Chrome plated, and the rear suspension, all the hairpins Chrome plated. When I first saw that car a few years ago, when it first came out of the garage, it had this cockroach license plate, it had this script, and you know, done. It's very 60s style. When I got the car, it was missing. And then so I asked the guy, hey, what happened to the license plate? He knew nothing of it. So I got an art background, so basically I did my best to recreate it. So that's what's on there now. That's cool. Um, the only thing I did different, the original one had white lettering with uh, this kind of red background. What I did is I did a candy background and I did the lettering in chrome to kind of just, it kind of fit the car, have chrome right. lettering as opposed to white. So. I did kind of use some artist license, but right. yeah, I think it's cool. Well, you know, so I, um, when I was taking the car apart, I did some mechanical work, and so I took the wheels off, and you know, the brake drums are chrome plated, and then I take the brake drums off, and this is a crazy thing: the master cylinders are chrome plated. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, wow. So they're not all. I think at one time someone probably replaced them, but. Right. You know, at one time he just went, he went crazy with this thing. I mean, it looked like he really had a vision of what he wanted to do because the way the car was put together, it really looked like up front he had the plan to have a chrome plated frame. I mean, you know, you and I would never do that today. It'd be, you no. know, it'd be crazy. Well, when you look underneath the car, all the suspension points, all the cross members, they're all unboltable so you can put it in the tank. I mean, it's, it's really clever. Everything, I mean, it was really, really planned out. So the guy was a, really quite a master fabricator. I mean, right. he'd be like a, you know, probably a pro builder, you know, in this day and age. This is a, uh, a show car from the 60s, and here it is, you know, live and running and driving. I am just amazed about how the front end looks like F100 brakes. Like, I like how this, is, this spindle arm is all heated up and bent just so it clear everything. And, you know, the homemade, uh, wishbones yeah. and then they went back and plated it. All these welds, they look like um, TIG welds, but they're not. They're a settling torch. You know, I mean, this guy got down. Uh, Chris told me that he was a, a, a pipe fitter, a union pipe fitter, right? Right, that's yeah. what I understand. Mm -hmm. So that guy could probably weld all day long. The thing is, car sits so low, you really never see it, but he, he did it just because he wanted to do it. Right. <laughs> The frame, the front frame horns are big caps that are slid over it and they're all chromed. Like to sit down and make all that stuff and weld it and and there's tons of hours in it. I'm sure his uh, 
His divorce went really good. <laughs> you know, th this guy, I think he had a real nice sense of style too. I mean, it looks like, you know, this whole theme here kind of works with the Nerf bars and, I mean, he was really looking at, at design continuity. Right. You know, whether yeah. he was a designer or not, he was, you know. These do look, you know, it just goes hand in hand with the, uh, with the wheels. It, it does. You yeah, know. you're running. You know, I never noticed that before. That's a good point. Yeah, the windows on it like that, that goes hand in hand with the wheels. That was a good choice of wheels. They always say, if the world ever ended, the only thing that would be left on the earth would be cockroaches, and this, this car has survived so well. It's, it's phenomenal. I mean, it was almost meant to be, you know, we named it.